Another City, it's me, JT4, Cape Town, etc. And I am calling on all dog lovers to join us on this incredible adventure that awaits us right through those doors. Hi, my name is Bianca. Um, I'm the co-founder of Superwoof and um, I just make sure that all of our superheroes are saving the day every single day. <laughs> we, we consider ourselves a six star hotel just um, and if for any other reason just to make sure that that is the level of service we strive for every single time we have a client checking in. Um, we want it to be a smooth, convenient, personalized experience for every single client and of course every single dog to make sure that they're having the best possible time that they can. We try to keep the routine quite set. Dogs thrive on a routine, so we like to make sure that they know what's coming. So for boarding dogs specifically, early mornings, they go out for a little walk on the sky deck uh, just so that they can stretch their legs and get some fresh air, do their business in the mornings. And then um, from there, all the daycare dogs start arriving. So they're in their groups and they get to meet and greet all their friends for the day. And then from around 10 o'clock, all those groups start going out again for the big playtime with the handlers. So they go out, do their thing, have a splash in the pool, sniff the grass, you know, play with one another, play with the guys. And then in the evening, so afternoon from 2 o'clock, we have quiet time. So we play classical jazz, we try to get them to all chill out a bit because we don't want to overstimulate them. Um, so they get a little bit of a nap in. Daycare dogs leave by about half past six, seven. And then we do dinner and another little walk around for them before bed. The main highlight is of course our outdoor space, which is built and designed specifically for dogs entertainment. We want them to have the best time ever. So that is the one-on-one -on -one play time with the guys and that form of entertainment is a major plus for them. Of course, we've got our giant lounges for the doggers when they do want to chill out. It's a totally unique sleeping experience for them because they all get to share one big bed, which they love. It's the sweetest thing. And, um, and then just general play and making sure that they're properly looked after. We do feeding throughout the day. So if you've got a puppy who needs to be fed lunch, we do the feeding. All the dogs are fed individually, so you, there's never that, that chance of you know, um, a dog having any guarding or, uh, or eating another dog's food if they are on a specific diet or something like that as well. So when we, we initially opened um, as a means to sponsor the on-site adoption center, which uh, is Oscar's Ark, the Wolf Project. They uh, do the uh, activations at the waterfront and the Sanch Village and all of that. And so the key reason we opened was to, as a means to sponsor sponsor that. They were never a town-based adoption centre to begin with, so a portion of every booking goes towards Ask a Zark, and at the end of every month we send everyone a message. Who, so it's on your 20th check-in, so your 20th check-in we donate 100 rand across. So for our regular doggers that come five days a week, pretty much every month they're donating at least 100 rand up to Ask a Zark. Starting the business um, was myself, Watson and Tanashi, or Wonder Watson and Mr. T. Um, they are my two head handlers that started off with us when we opened just six weeks before COVID hit, before lockdown. Um, so it was a small start and humble beginnings for sure. And slowly but surely throughout word of mouth and growth, we've been able to grow the team. Um, we have seven guys now that we employ on the floor as well as you know, other staff throughout the business. Um, and every single one of the guys totally have their own personality and, and special skills that they bring to the table. Um, Energy, who's been with us for about a year and a half now, he's an ex-crocodile handler. So, so, so he was very comfortable transitioning from crocs to dogs. Um, of course, Watson, as I mentioned, he's our, our groomer and an absolute wizard on the shaver. Um, Mr. T, he looks like a rugby player, so he's like a proper, if he's in a Superman outfit, he is a, a genuine uh, Superman. And um, yeah, all the guys are just great and amazing and super passionate about the doggers. You can really just see um, the love from every single one of them every single day. Yeah.